a true bug has this beak type mouth part right here. If you're going to see bed bugs, this is about the best scenario, dead under a microscope. David Cook works in UT's Pest Diagnostic Lab in Nashville, where he's been getting lots of calls lately about these critters. Bed bugs uh, are kind of a, a scary thing to think about because now they're showing up here and there in places you might stay at night. Cook says there's no question bed bugs have increased in population in recent years. Now here we have a um, photo of a bed bug. There are several reasons for this. We no longer use certain pesticides that used to kill them. And a number of the pests are being accidentally imported from other countries by unknowing tourists. Well, bed bugs are great little hitchhikers, and they like suitcases. But Cook says there's no need to panic about bed bugs. Yes, they do really bite, but they are not a serious health hazard. Even though they are capable of retaining a pathogen in their system, for some reason, they cannot spread a disease similar to a mosquito. I'd be more fearful of a mosquito bite or a tick bite. So what about Tennessee? Is the volunteer state part of this national bed bug resurgence? Well, bed bugs have been found in all three grand divisions of the state, east, middle, and west. But so far, the pests have been reported in less than 20% of Tennessee's counties. Uh, we have the male bed, adult bed bug on the left and the female on the right. But UT entomologist Dr. Karen Vale says even a few bed bugs is still a problem. Cleanliness is usually not a cause for an infestation, but clutter can be. Reducing clutter uh, will speed up the control process. You want to take all those hiding places away. Dr. Vale recommends you be aware of the possibility of bed bugs when you travel. When you go to a hotel room, you want to inspect before you unpack your bags. You want to get behind the headboard. And, and look for bed bugs and their fecal specking there. Take the bedding off, look at the mattress seams, make sure bed bugs, high populations aren't present. Her final piece of advice, if you do discover bed bugs, call a professional exterminator. And mostly, stop letting this little bug push us around and become more empowered. This is Chuck Denny reporting.